How do you create a freeze frame in Final Cut Pro 10? This is a candid scene I filmed along Shenton Way in Singapore. A double-decker happened to pass by while office workers are crossing the road. In this example, I want to create a freeze frame when the double-decker is right in the middle of the scene. First, we position the playhead on the frame we want to freeze. Then go to the main menu, select edit, scroll down and click add freeze frame. A new clip will be created and inserted where we placed our playhead right in the middle of our previous clip. And this clip is a still image of the freeze frame. Let's go back. That's how to create a freeze frame in Final Cut Pro 10. Wait, here are some extra tips you need to know. The default duration of this new clip is 4 seconds, so you can extend it as long as you like beyond 4 seconds using the trim function, or you can make it less than 4 seconds again using the trim function. If you would like to change the default duration, go into the main menu, click on Final Cut Pro, scroll down to Preferences, select Preferences, click on the Editing button, and change the duration of the still image, higher or lower. As for my case, I prefer to leave it at 4 seconds, the default value. If you prefer to use the keyboard shortcut, you can just click Option F. Let me show you an example. Bring my playhead to the position that I want. And on the keyboard, click Option F. Again, the default freeze frame still clip appears over here. Here's another trick. You can create freeze frame on the fly during playback. Bring my play to the beginning and play. On the keyboard, I press Option F. A freeze frame appears there. And I press Option F again. Another freeze frame appears here. While it's playing, I'm observing. And this time again, I press Option F. So that's creating freeze frames on the fly during playback. Another trick we can create freeze frame from the browser itself. Now, let's say Instead of showing a bus, I want to show a freeze frame of a fish from another clip. So I select the frame that I want to freeze, and again I press Option F on the keyboard. Instead of a new clip appearing between the original clip, the freeze frame from the browser appears as a connected clip to your main clip. Now, there's a better way to create a freeze frame without creating an extra clip, and it's called the Hold Segment under Retime. So tune in and watch my next video about freeze frame method number two.